Good evening, Mary Geeran with ABC News. Timber industry workers are demanding the state government release a long overdue plan for native forest logging. The timber release plan sets out which areas of forest, called coops, are open for logging. It was meant to be finalised last July and the industry says the delay means job losses are looming. Dormant logging trucks a sign of an industry in a state of inertia. We have not got a coop to go to Monday morning. That's the cold hearted facts. We haven't got a coop to go to now. Warren Fenner is a logging contractor from East Gippsland. Six months ago, he signed a five-year deal with Vic Forests, requiring him to upgrade his machinery. With expensive new equipment on its way, the work has suddenly dried up. The effect on me workers and the insecurity through the region and the towns has great flow-on effects. And that is my answer. Nationals leader Peter Walsh raised the delay in Parliament. Premier, will you immediately intervene to save these jobs by having the timber release plans signed? I think this industry faces challenges far beyond the timber release plan. As important as that is, I think there are some broader considerations. The Premier said he'd seek advice on progress, but Vic Forrest says it was directed to stop work. We didn't direct Vic Forest. We requested that they stop, um, uh, don't release a timber plan at this point in time while we address some, some challenges and some policy decisions. This is about the Andrews government having a plan to effectively starve the industry of timber. Availability of native wood has been an issue for years, with mills unable to get as much timber as they say they need. Bushfires and native species protection have further limited how much is available for logging. And environmentalists say the timber release plan hasn't been finalised because the wood simply isn't there. Successive governments have known for years that the forests have been cut too fast, too hard and for far too long. That is absolute rubbish. For those caught in the centre of the debate, time and timber is running out. Stephanie Anderson, ABC News, Gippsland.